and just okay so like three weeks ago I was complaining I know imagine that complaining to a friend of mine and I just couldn't find a book that I wanted and I felt like I was being so picky but also I was like why can't I find this book why can't I find a happy book that was written for adults that has characters I like that has an interesting plot that deals with stuff but isn't depressing like it shouldn't be that hard to find and I feel like that is so hard to find and then I stumbled upon this one and okay, it's a piece of paper because I listened to it and it was delightful on audio. So recommend it on audio if you like audio. And it's called Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. Okay. So I stumbled upon this book and let me tell you, when I got done, I was like all grinny. Like if I can add a Y on the end of the word grin, I was just grinny over it. And so I have to tell you about it, right? So what I like is this book has rotating narrators. And so we get to meet lots of different characters and hear the story from their point of view. Tova is um, an older woman and she, oh my God, she's just like the best pragmatic Swede. Like she just is so sensible about everything she does because there's a right way to do it. And that is how she's going to do it because that is what you do. And listen, that warmed my heart. And so Toba is a part-time um, cleaning lady at her local aquarium. And she doesn't need the money, but she does need the purpose. And while she's there, she kind of ends up making friends with Marcellus the octopus. Yes, there is a smug octopus in this. Yes, you will enjoy him. Yes, some of the chapters are for him, his point of view. And you absolutely need um, a smug octopus in your reading life. You just do, I promise. And so they kind of form this connection and this bond and she's like, okay, this is silly, but also I think he understands me. And so there's just some like real sweet stuff on um, human animal connections that I just was not expecting, but truly enjoyed. And so some of the times you hang out with Tova and what I like about this book is that it deals with some kind of serious topics like grief and loss and aging, but it does so in a really, just in a really skilled way. And so even though we're talking about tough things, it isn't just sadness reading. It's really well balanced. There's some nice humor in it. There's some really nice moments and there's some just parts where you're like, life is like that and I'm going to take the hard and the good together. And so I just appreciate that about it. One of our other rotating narrators is Cameron. And Cameron is a smart kid, although I shouldn't say kid because he's like 30, but he acts like he's a teen. And he just kind of has this chip on his shoulder, like it's just not fair, like life has never been fair and that is why he's in the place he's in. And he gets it in his head that he's gonna find his father. He's never met his father, he doesn't even know who his father is, but he gets an idea and so, he heads on the road and he ends up in the small town where Tova lives and it's right off Pudgett Sound. So there's some like just really nice like um, Pacific Northwest stuff in this. It just makes you want to visit and live there and see the ocean. Just absolutely love that. Um, and so he ends up in this town and he just kind of finds himself fitting. And for someone who has never really felt like he belongs somewhere, isn't that nice? Um, and so I really like the stuff we have on family and found family and Okay, it has a lot of heart and part of me really wants to make a joke about how octopuses have three hearts and this book has a lot of heart, but I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna tell you that octopuses have three hearts because that is really interesting, I think. So there is absolutely some fun octopus facts. There is a lot of just nice friendship and small town and just a little bit of romance, not a ton, but a little bit of romance and all these like good things kind of wrapped in together. Um, like I said, I read the audiobook, I enjoyed the audiobook, but I think it would be delightful in print too. So if you want a book that is written for adults, that is going to leave you feeling warm and cozy, but also deals with some things that are heavy, but never too heavy, I think Remarkably Bright Creatures by um, Shelby Ben Pelt would be a really good pick. This is her first book, and I am excited to see what she comes up with next. I super hope there's an animal in it, though. Yeah. <laughs>